Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can make an animated splash screen in Jetpack Compose, which is now officially stable in case you've missed it. So what we will do is this. You can see a little zoom in overshoot animation on my logo, and then we are automatically navigated to the main screen after a delay we specify. Here you can see that again, if we press back, little animation and then after three seconds in this case we're navigated to the main screen. This is a kind of splash screen that I would use if you want to have an animation in it like we do here. In case you just have a static splash screen so without animation then I would suggest you to check out this video somewhere up here where I show you exactly that without any extra activity, without any manual delay, just showing a splash screen as, as long as your app boots. But we're here to make a splash screen in Jetpack Compose, which also doesn't need an extra activity and with an animation. So let's jump right into it. I am in an empty Compose project here and I've also um, imported my logo here as a drawable resource, which I suggest you to do the same unless you want to show something different on your splash screen. And what you need to do is you need to go to your build.gradle file Scroll down to the dependencies and include this dependency, which you will find in this video's description in my GitHub repository, which just implements the, the navigation compose library, so we can navigate between two uh, screens. So essentially how this will work is, we will just have two screens in this simple example, the splash screen and the main screen. On the splash screen we just display our logo, we animate it there, and we also Immediately when we um, open the splash screen, we will launch a timer, or rather we delay a coroutine, and after this delay we simply navigate to the main screen. So let's first set up a bit of navigation here, composable navigation, in which you can simply get a reference to our nav controller. Remember nav controller. Then we specify a nav host. In case you don't know about Jetpack navigation, I also have a video about that I recently made. Just check out my recent videos here. Our nav controller is the one we just created. And instead of the graph, we pass a start destination in form of a route, which is our splash screen, because that is our start destination. Then in here, we define two composable blocks to define two different screens. On the one hand, our Splash screen and on the other hand our main screen. Let's start to implement the splash screen down here. Composable splash screen and this one will be very very simple. We just have a box here to center our logo with the content alignment set to center and we make sure that we fill the maximum size like this and in here we just have an image for our logo using a painter resource are a drawable and in my case that's IC logo for the content description I will just choose a logo and that is already enough to display our logo now we need the logic for our splash screen. So we want to on the one hand have the animation and on the other hand we want to just show our main screen after a specific delay. So let's start by simply animating our image here. For that we can define a val scale here because we want to scale up our image. In my case you can choose any animation you like. And that will be set to remember. Import remember here. And what do we want to remember? Well, we want to remember an animatable. And we want to do that with this float animatable, which is simply a class that helps us to, to um, interpolate animations, animation values, and just, yeah. In this case, just use that for a simple scaling animation. The initial value is 0f. We start with a scale of 0. And the target value will be a scale of your choice. So what we now want to do is we want to have a launched effect block which is essentially just um, a so-called side effect handler. So in case you don't know that I also have a more detailed video about these side effect handlers. Um, we basically can define a key here which I will just pass true for 
this key could also be a state and whenever the state you pass for this key changes this coroutine that is a coroutine here will fire off again and will be um, will be rerun basically and the old one will be cancelled what we achieve if we pass true here is that this value will never change so this coroutine will just run once when we actually open the app or open the screen and when this happens we want to start animating our scale value to a specific other value so to the to the target value basically so we can say scale that animate to to a target value which in my case is 0.3 f because my logo is quite big here you have to experiment with that for you it could maybe be just 1 f or something completely different and we want to define an animation spec which helps us to define a time or duration for that animation and to define an easing function um, for which I will choose the overshoot easing so we will choose tween here with which we can then define duration milliseconds let's say 500 milliseconds half a second and we want to define an easing because there is no overshoot interpolator in Jetpack Compose by default we want to write our own one so we have our easing function here it gives us um, a float value which is the fraction of the of the animation played basically so if you're currently at 250 milliseconds in that animation this float value will be 50 percent so 0.5 and so on so we basically need to transform this float value now to the the target value this um, the scale should have and in a normal android so outside of jetpack compose there is already this overshoot interpolator so we can define that here we can define a tension which i will just choose um, two for and then we can say dot get interpolation so this interpolator just takes in our float and returns the value that we want to have of course you can choose any interpolator you like or just use one of the already implemented easing functions in jetpack compose so here we start this animation then we want to have a delay block to delay this coroutine for in my case three seconds that is how long your splash screen will show and then we will choose um, the nav controller that we need to pass here to navigate to our main screen uh, nav controller that navigate main screen and it's really as easy as that so we obviously need to take the splash screen composable and put it in here pass in our nav controller and for our main screen I will just have a big box um, that fills the whole size of our screen and that also has the content alignment of center and in this box we just show a text that says main screen with a white color just like that then we want to take this composable put it in our surface navigation and we want to replace this color here with a dark gray I'll just choose this one but that is pretty much it I just also want to set the modifier here to fill max size but yeah that is pretty much it so we just have our navigation here that defines two different screens the splash screen will show up first that is our start destination then when this splash screen composable composes for the first time this launched effect block will fire off we will um, start animating our scale value to our target value 0.3f and then we forgot to actually apply that scale to our image let's quickly do that just have a modify here modify that scale and set this to scale that value um, so then this the scale value will animate from 0 to 0 0.3 and yeah for each time this changes our scale of our image will change and yeah the result is just the animation so let's just try this out run this app and take a look in our emulator I will close this one and yeah there you can see the animation played 
and after 3 seconds we're navigated to the main screen, so everything is working perfectly fine. I hope you enjoyed this video, if so please let me know that below. In case you're looking for more advanced Android courses then check out this video's description which will lead you to my website and there you will just find yeah, more advanced and longer Android courses than I can uh, show here on YouTube. These are paid and also just a brilliant way to, to boost your knowledge and also to support me and my work here so I can keep doing all that free stuff for you. Thanks a lot for watching. I wish you an excellent day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.